Hi, I'm Photo Joseph, a Lumix ambassador. Firmware updates were just released for the Lumix S series and the G series cameras. And the update procedure is a little bit different for the S series than it has been in the past, so I'm gonna walk you through it. The update process starts with an SD card. So go ahead and pop one into your camera and immediately reformat the card. Once the card is formatted, go ahead and put that in your computer. To download the updates, I put a link in the description down below on our website at photojoseph.com along with a text version of these instructions. And from here, you can simply click on the big orange button that says download your firmware updates here. And that'll take you to the Panasonic page. Once on here, click on the downloads button and this will open a web page with all the different downloads available for both your Micro Four Thirds cameras and the full frame S series cameras. We'll start with these. You'll see here that there is an S1 and S1R update, both to version 1.2 released on July 9th of 2019. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll also see that there were recent updates for the lenses, the 24 to 105 and the 70 to 200 released back in June. If you haven't installed those updates, you should do that now as well. Not only do they provide improved image stabilization performance, but they also provide compatibility on the 70 to 200 for the 1.4X and the 2X teleconverters. For now, we'll go ahead and download the S1 update. Click on the click to downloads page and then here click on download. And the file that downloads is going to be a zip file. Double click that to open it to a .bin. And the .bin is the file that you want to copy to the SD card, not the zip file. Copy the bin file to the root level of your SD card. Go ahead and eject that and put it back into your camera. Power up your camera, press the menu button and navigate down to the bottom where it says others and then to firmware version. Here it shows you the current software info, which is 1.1 on mine. And you'll notice that above that where it says firmware update, it's not available right now. That's because on my S1, I currently have Bluetooth enabled. You actually have to disable Bluetooth before you can run this firmware update. If you do that, then make sure that you re-enable Bluetooth when you're done. I'll back out of here, go to the in and out menu, go to Bluetooth and turn that off. Now that that's off, I can access the firmware update. It'll tell you what it's going to do and ask if you want to start, hit yes, and then hands off the camera. Don't touch any buttons, don't open any doors, just don't touch. The update takes several minutes and the camera will automatically reboot when it's done. And if you want to check that it was successful, go back into the menu and check the software info and you can see here that it is now at version 1.2. Also, if you disable Bluetooth, don't forget to turn that back on now. Just go back to the Bluetooth settings and re-enable that. And that's all there is to it. Your Lumix S series is now updated. Now, as I said in the beginning, the procedure for updating your G series is different from the S series. This is the new way of doing it with the S series cameras. But on the G series, all you have to do is press play once you've already copied that .bin file to the SD card and popped it into your camera. Now, I've already done that. So I'll just go ahead and turn the camera on and press the play button. And that recognizes the firmware update. Start the version update. Yes. And away we go. And that's all there is to it. I hope this short video is helpful. And since you've watched this video, you must be a Lumix user. So please do subscribe to the channel. As a Lumix ambassador, I do a lot of videos around the Lumix cameras, but also around other photography and video topics as well. We'll see you around.